Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to continue with make a game like GTA. So first, we're going to need a few things for the marketplace. The, it's already free, so it's perfect to this tutorial and for your project. So first, uh, you need to download the one. This is really, really good. It's free. So you have already the town, you have already the car you need. Probably gonna need more. We wanna make it make it later. So, but I don't wanna use these characters. Uh, if you want to use it, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. But for me, I wanna use another one. So, I wanna also use uh, Stylai. Um, remember, preferably the name for free. They wanna be this guy. I wanna use this one. And also, I want to use this one for the outside because I want to do uh, not only the town. I want to they have you know like natural stuff like forests, um, mountains, everything. So I want to use these two. You can use another ones if you want, or you can use the character from example. You can use the character for the other asset, the this one. So it's okay. It's up to you. So let's start it. So I will close this. So go to Unreal. I have opened already the map. It's called it uh, Asobio Maps. This one demonstrator. I don't gonna use it because I want to create mine. But in here you can see all the stuff they have. So they have another car we need. We also have inside to the stores and everything. So it's perfect for a game. So in this tutorial, you wanna learn a lot of stuff, like how to enter in the in the car, how to use it, how to shoot in third person, uh, uh, chain two for the third person to third person camera. So they wanna be a full game when I'm making these series, like a GTA, but in the cartoon style. So I hope you like this tutorial. So. Let's gonna do it. So first we have this one. I don't I don't wanna use it like I said before in my series because I wanna do it from scratch, but if you want to use use this one. So first if you want to use it here you're gonna game mode override. You need to change this to your mind, it's called DP game mode. So if I press it, yeah you play play already, it's already the uh the character over there. So now I can go for the wall. I can enter the stars, store, sorry. So that's really great, but this character is not that great. If you want to use these characters, you know, you have to do a few things. Uh, first, you need to go to uh, these folders, go to meshes, go to characters, and here you choose the character you want, they have a lot, so that's good. So if you want to use something in particular, like, I don't know, like this guy, for example, you need to go to your skeleton. Now, as this then you need to right click, go to skeleton, uh, assign skeleton. You need to assign it when your skeleton from real. In my case, they're gonna be this one. So you wanna use this one, press asset, so now if we go to the in the blueprint of the character, like these ones, so in here you will viewport, I can and I need to choose choose that guy. So I don't remember the name, so I'm gonna find it again. Message characters. Uh it's this guy. So you put it here, it does it. If you see they have a little uh, space here they have too it's too big or maybe it's too up you can down uh, put this down a little bit but they don't work in great so if you go play you see it's not really good so you can put this down like three times they're gonna be 15 if you do it three times or five of course so they they do better or you can you can do the uh, go to the skeleton. Just more path this way. 
No, it's not that bad. <laughs> so go to uh, DP, uh, character, meshes, uh, mesh, skeleton. In here, you need to go to options, show red, red targeting option. If you choose the pelvis, you change to skeleton. They're going to fix a few things, but I don't like it this way because these characters, if I put it back to three times, to be in the back, you see the the food, they move a little bit. I don't like that. So if I go, you play, you press play, if you stay quiet, uh, steady, you're going to see the leg that no won't find. So, by, so after you, you can use the characters. But for me, I don't really like it too much. So I don't want to use it. So I want to use the other one. So I want to put this back where they belong. They're going to be animation. Save it. Close this one. I want to use the other one, the, the new guy. Uh, the SCK, this guy. So the best way to do it is go ma mannequin, character, meshes, and this skeleton, I want to delete it. Why? Because it's already retarget everything. So I want to put here the one I wanted. So they're going to be the other one. So UA4. You put replace reference. Press yes. Well, okay. So going to take a little while. But they're going to put all the characters, all the animation, all the stuff, the asset, the skeleton message. They're going to work in for this skeleton now. So save it. So they have radiators. So I'm going to fix it. So fix it up. Like. That take a little while. Okay, okay, oh. okay, <laughs> a little longer. Okay, so now if you choose a, a character, I want to use model, pre made character, uh, I want to use the one for, for now. I want to put another later. So, so DP uh, blueprints are going to be. Uh, Character, no, DB, blueprint, character. So in here, you need to compile this again. You put the other guy. Yeah, I don't remember again. <laughs> so go again to console, uh, model, frame A, this guy. So put it here. So compile, save, let it play. It does it. We have the guy. The working for this uh, map. So this is great. So I want to change the uh, the movement of the player because I don't like the always jogging or running. So the first we need to go to character movement, go to max speed, max wall speed. I want to change this to 300. Wait, no, 3,300. Uh, max speed crouch yet. I want to be 150 crouch, so 150. Want to compile and save. So now we go play. They want to play. They walk in a little bit. I don't like this animation, so I want to change this one. So I pre-made uh, um, animation, so you know how to make it already. In the other video I make, you you know how to uh, adjust adjust the animation for for your need. So gonna be character animation have it right here I made this one so for me it's perfect so in this one you need to go to in, in the DB idle run mm, go to asset details or it's on the axis and here the speed I want to change the maximum asset barrier I want to be 600 Put four if you want they're gonna be fine so if your player is one or se uh, several, they're going to be idle. Or 300, they're going to be walking. So I'm going to move this like that. But, but I want to use my walking, my walk animation. And when they go to 600, they're going to be running. So save and close. So now if I go, I go play, now it's walking. So perfect. So for 
this character this perfect so i want to make the, these guys run so they're going to be doing fast so go to edit project settings they want to make an input when they loading they're going to put input we have only jump so i'm going to put another one they want to be run so we want to use the shift left shift for example uh, for the gamepad i want to use the shoulder oh, oh, shoulder gamepad right shoulder like that yeah only one well, it's okay the shoulder for now so go to blueprints and here in the main graph on the right bottom they want to call run so they're going to be action event so look at action event run uh, here when you press it i want to set set max walk speed no set the max oh wow really i forgot to you need to take the character movement for it now you from here set max walk speed like this so you need to put it like 600 and when you release it now from here from here set max walk speed to 300 300 like that compile and save so now you will play now it's working if i press the uh, shoulder the they want to be the rb in the gamepad for the xbox they run if i release it they work so that's it for this video so for the next video they want to make a few things so i hope you like the videos uh, because I, I want to change the three, 3D platform I make before tutorial to this one because I feel better to make a GTA a lot of people ask me to make this tutorial so because it's already a lot the 3D platform tutorial so I decide to change it so I want to use the GTA so it's funny because in the I live in the USA uh, before for almost uh, 15 years. So I have a few cars for myself. One of the cars I have before, the, there was a Corvette C3. Oh, that's funny. Not this year because this year look more like a 68 or 69 Corvette. Mine was a 78. So that was a great car I had before. <laughs> but well, I sell it a few years later to move uh, to move again to Spain so well I hope you like the video if you like it uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to support me you can go to my uh, patreon page you, you can have a few links over there to more video stuff and also if you want to talk with me directly or see an, another videos from tutorial or different video because I have uh, uh, gameplay tutorials too, uh, gameplay uh, videos too. So go to my Discord channel. So I hope you like the videos. If uh, you make your own um, city or town, or you can use this map. So uh, that depends how you like it. I want to create mine for the next video. So uh, small first is going to be bigger and bigger. So that's it. So thank you for watching. I see you to the next video. Bye bye.